If you want more FIFA content from me, I'm now uploading exclusive videos to Patreon. The link for that is down below. And if you want to avoid the random lottery that is FIFA points, you can go straight to the source with u7buy.com. And of course, you can use the code TVM at checkout to get yourself a discount. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to Bruno de Gradi, Dortmund player career mode. Thank you for the support on yesterday's episode, I'm going to continue this for the next few days and uh, we'll see where we are with regards to the engagement. If you guys do go on to enjoy the video, do me a favour and hit the like button, it will continue the series and allow me to, uh, well, just to gauge how well it's doing really, because obviously this is my job, so if this doesn't do well, unfortunately, it will either have to be cut or it will find its way over to the Patreon page. Link for that down below. With that being said, though, uh, Bruno De Gradi is a 16-year-old Italian. His current form is excellent, as you can see. The match is played two because it does count the cup game against Bayern Munich at the very start of the season. Uh, all that is in yesterday's episode, of course. So is the game against Augsburg. Uh, one goal, two assists, both of which, or sorry, three of which, came uh, against Bayern Munich. Uh, Augsburg's game was quite disappointing, actually. I've been very surprised to see that Bruno's been picked for the uh, C Cologne game. So we're going to go into that right now. I'm not going to play the, the whole game and... Um, do the whole thing live. We will cut it up into segments. But Bruno has to really perform here. There he is on the right-hand side. Because if he doesn't perform, I do fear that he will get dropped. Because he still is only a 68-rated striker. That is going to be the team going into the game. Uh, Berkey in goal. Three at the back. Sancho is going to be left mid. Emre Chan, for some reason, is right side. Marco Royce in the middle. You think... Or well, you would think that Chan would be in the middle with Axel Witzel and maybe Hazard would be the one to be playing where Chan is. Royce then would play where Hazard is. That would make more sense. Jamie Vardy maybe being the striker and then uh, Bruno de Gradi being the camp. But either way, that's the team they've gone with. Let's get into it. It's going to come to Hazard. He gives it to Bruno. Bruno forward and that's not very good. Hazard, Sancho is Bruno de Gradi. I keep calling him Bruno. I know his name is de Gradi, but we're going to call him Bruno. That's what the commentator would call him if the commentary was on. Can we get this back from Jamie Vardy, or is he going to be really greedy with it? I kind of want to attack that, that near post, but... Oh, he's, hello, he's come back to him here. Can he drag it back? He goes for goal, and it's a poor effort, really. The rebound has been nodded out. Vardy into Bruno. Hits one, and he scored on the turn. He's got five goals in his Dortmund career, and that is another one. I know a lot of people might be saying that it might be too easy. We're going to keep it as is for now, because he really wasn't involved in the game against Augsburg. In fact, very nearly lost that game, uh, were it not for a moment of magic by uh, Jamie Vardy. That's a great finish, though. It's allowing us to have an awful lot of it ourselves. Here's Witzel into Bruno, passes it to Vardy. 125 short passes complete. I pass the ball a lot. Fair play. Ball through here from Bruno. Good ball as well into Emery Chan. He needs to play that into back. Well, he needed to play it into the back post. But Jamie Vardy on hand to score. If he, if Emery Chan had just played that across goal, I wouldn't even back post. It was a case of like back six yard area, really. If he just played it across, it would have been an easy tap in. But as it transpires, Vardy doesn't need an easy tap in because he's going to score from whichever angle he's been given. That is a great finish as well, bottom corner. We are fast approaching half-time. This could very well be the last kick of the of the game here, or of the half at least it is. Uh, at the break, we do go in 2-0 up. Uh, he's, on, he's on the score sheet. He sort of acted as a decoy in the Vardy goal as well. Not that there'll be an assist for it or anything, but still... Um, that's the goal right there. Didn't really get much of that ball. Just sort of stopped by the defender. But as you can see at half time, we are in complete control. It is a newly promoted team in Cologne, to be fair. So it's not as if we're playing the likes of Bayern or, or Leipzig or anything. If we're beating teams that comfortably in the likes of Bayern and Leipzig and, and what have you, week in, week out, then I, of course I will change the difficulty. I'm going to try and give an option for Sancho and, and company here. There's Bruno round the outside. Good ball. Good football between them. Can he play it back across? Oh, well, that's not really. That's a bit too far back. Not really want what I wanted, but we've got the ball again here. Just waiting for that run. It's a good ball. Is he off onside, though? No, he's just offside. That's unfortunate. We've got a chance to maybe pick the ball up again here. Bruno plays it out wide to Emre Chan. 
Delaney on for Marco Royce. Here's Emery Chan again. Let's get that ball into the middle, please. Bit of a drag back. Ball into Ward. Vardy back toward Bruno. It comes to Delaney. Will that count as an assist? I doubt it. But uh, Bruno had a big hand to play. Delaney on for Royce. I did mention it in the build-up. And unfortunately, like I said, I don't think it's going to count as a goal contribution, which is a shame because it kind of was. Uh, Vardy's done really well. I don't know, actually. We'll have to have a look at that at the end, whether it does count as an assist. Ball up for Bruno to chase. Touch from him wasn't the best, but to be fair, the ball was a little bit ahead of him. Liz Leinster. Well, Bruno has won it back again. Can he play this in toward Jamie Vardy? He can. Into Erling Haaland, who flicks it on the turn. That is such an Erling Haaland goal. I mean, that's mad how good that goal was. The AI loved to do that as well. I mean, that's such a good goal. I mean, I know it's like he's right in front of it, but can you imagine watching that in real life? If that actually happened, I would have, I would have fallen off my chair. Well, Bruno's gone for it, and he wanted the ball out wide. He's going to get it. Can he touch it inside? Touch of the ball rolls. That's a that's a bit of uh, experience there. It's just to slow it up a little bit. Not that we really need to. Ball through the middle here. Can he get a, on the end of it? He goes for goal. It's been blocked. There's Holland. It's in the back for five. And Holland has just done exactly what he does in real life. He's come on. He's been on the field, what, 10, 15 minutes, and he scored twice and made, made, made Bruno look uh, like a bit of a fool, actually. The moment of truth is uh, upon us. Will Bruno get a chance to play in the next league game? Which is actually against Union Berlin. Before we do that, though, we are going to do some training. To keep a natural progression with uh, with Bruno and his training, I, I'm not going to do it. I mean, I know it's, a, it's an excuse to not have to go into training and do it myself. Maybe now and again I will, but chances are I'm not going to do it because I feel like if I were to go in and do the training, I'm going to get A or B in everything and he will um, he'll just upgrade far too quickly. So what I want to do is just leave it. Andrew Robertson has just signed for Leipzig. Uh, what I want to do is just leave it and just do natural training, you know, like the simulating. So it's not A's every single time, basically. Uh, we're going to skip forward here and see if we've been chosen. Or sorry, not chosen. We, but Bruno has been chosen. He hasn't, incidentally. He's been dropped for this game. The irritating thing, of course, about career mode is or at least player career mode is that you can't come on as a sub so Erling Haaland picked which makes sense uh he's been chosen over Bruno that yeah the, the irritating thing is of course that we can't um we just have to sit here and watch the game play out we can't or rather we just wait to see it play out Royce and Vardy with goals 2-0 for Dortmund uh we yeah we, it's just really irritating we can't get brought on as a sub this is transfer deadline date now i've not requested a loan away uh obviously i'm not going to request a um not going to request a transfer that would be a little bit silly but um mario goetze has gone guerrero has gone i knew that peace check has gone i didn't know that i dortmund have Wait, hang on a minute. Dortmund have signed Rodrigo. Now, which Rodrigo is it? Is there a way to look at the team? I'm not sure. Uh, team stats, player stats, team stats. I don't know. Right, Rodrigo. Uh, I don't know which player bio. Oh, so, it, okay. Well, that makes, like, absolutely no sense whatsoever. So they've signed Valencia's Rodrigo. Which makes literally no sense because they've also signed on why I don't get it. They've signed two. They've signed three strikers this window. I mean, technically speaking, four because they bought um, Erling Haaland uh, before. Obviously, I started the the save, and then they've signed Jamie Vardy in pre-season, which was a little bit of a surprise to me anyway. But then they've just signed Rodrigo on deadline day and on Enric as well and of course Bruno de Gradi, which is our uh, player control player is uh, is there as well so there's an awful lot of competition for that uh, that striker position and only one striker spot seemingly as well so I don't I mean maybe it would be um, beneficial to, to request to go out on loan but I think what I'm going to do for the time being if I can select EA there we go if I just skip this a little bit so Goethe went to Bayer Leverkusen interestingly enough what I want to do is just skip a little bit and see if we get an email through saying hey do you want to go out on loan but 
It doesn't look like that's going to materialize, does it? I wonder if Dortmund have done any more business during that uh, period there. Where are we? Yeah, they've signed Kimbembe, which is obviously a defender. They, I mean, they, they're making some moves. Fair play. I, I keep saying they. Maybe I should say we. I don't know. But uh, they've also signed Kimbembe. And, now, of course, there may be other signings in there we can't see. Let me request a little bit. Let me, I'm going to go see if I can request to go out on loan here because I just don't feel like we're going to get the first-team football that I crave. And I just want to see what the options are. If the options aren't very good, then obviously I'm not going to bother. Now, how do we do that? My actions control your career. So, let's just request a loan and see what happens. I mean, look at the striker options. So, they've they've said Vardy is crucial. Enric is important. Haaland is rotation. Rodrigo is important. And, of course, Bruno then is prospect. I get it. I do get it. It does make sense. It's just that we've not been offered to go out on loan here. So I'm a little bit concerned that, uh, unfortunately, we're not going to get enough football. So we'll put that request in for the loan. We'll see what happens. The game up next is Bayer Leverkusen. Unfortunately, Bruno has not been chosen for that game. So we are going to jump straight in and uh, watch the result. I'm, and it's, it's a bit of a weird one. I'm kind of hoping that... Um, they pick up a defeat here or there so that they are forced to maybe play Bruno. We'll have to wait and see. Obviously not chosen for the game against Barcelona. This was always going to be the problem. I can't imagine Dortmund are going to beat Barcelona here. No, they don't. Hazard on the score sheet. Uh, Akanji was sent off, incidentally, but no goals were scored after that. They've signed Oyazabal. Interesting acquisition uh what's uh, kanji suspended email that's kind of irrelevant this was always the concern here really that uh bruno was just not going to get football and again not chosen for the game against frankfurt is i mean is a little bit surprising in a way because he played really well scored goals got on the score sheet and just did really really well in general and now all of a sudden they've signed rodrigo and Enric and then he's been completely left out of the squad despite the fact that they're not exactly playing great football right this is a game yeah there you go this is a game you'd expect to get some game time in against uh, arguably the worst team in the group well definitely the worst team in the group and uh, you're in for the next match says the manager since you haven't been in the squad for some time now I've decided to give you an opportunity to show me what you can do and you'll be and will be putting you in a team for our next match. Play well and show me what our team has been missing out on. The problem with this, of course, is that you could play a 10, score a hat-trick, and he still won't include Bruno in the next game. But we'll have to wait and see. He's only 16 years of age. You wouldn't expect to walk straight into the Dortmund team at that age. Let's see if he can get a result against Slavia Prague. He's gone for goal. Berkey's mad to make a save. That just came from nowhere. I wasn't really paying attention. It's been all Slavia Prague at the moment. I'm calling them Prague, and I know it says Pra Praha, but I'm guessing it's Prague. I'm thinking it's Prague. If I if I've got that wrong, I do apologise, but that's the way I for some reason think it's pronounced. It's Dawley on the edge in to the striker who has scored. And we are 1-0 down away. To Slavia Prague, arguably the team who should be the whipping boys of the of the group, but unfortunately, they've taken the lead. We have not been playing very well at all. I've touched the sorry, Bruno has touched. I keep getting it wrong. Bruno's touched the ball once. Uh, we've been under the cosh big time, and there we go. Ball played through to Bruno, who's got a breakaway. What's his pace like? Not great. What's his left foot like? Not great either. He very nearly went down under the challenge. It was a reckless uh, challenge by the defender. He kind of needed to make it, to be fair, and he didn't do it successfully. Did take Bruno's legs away from him, but he'd already taken the shot. Zagadou there, if he was to wake up. Bruno arriving. Witzel. Back heels it. Is Sancho. Go for goal, Sancho. There we go. Back on level terms. Since the goal, we've been in control, to be fair. It's nice. 
Bruno's on the edge of everything here, waiting for the ball to come back to him. He gets it here. Can he drag it back? He's in on goal. He goes for goal. Save from the keeper. Bruno is he's, he is trying. He's had two shots on target, both of which have been quite poor, to be fair. Straight at the keeper twice. Ball comes out here to Hazard, into Bruno. Trying to make something happen. Ball comes back to Sancho, back into Bruno. Plays that into Julian Brandt. Good touch through to Vardy, who tried to pass it back to Bruno. There was absolutely no need to. He could have just carried on running himself. I don't really understand the logic there. Bruno wants it. He's going to get it as well. Into Brandt. Through back heel here. That's a brilliant football from Bruno. And potentially a winning goal from, uh, from Thorgan Hazard. Well, well, well. That is quite literally the first shot in the second half. And it was all on Bruno to create that. Because nobody else was doing anything. Ball dinked in. I think Sancho's back there defending. He may have given away a corner. He has. We're into stoppage time. They have a corner. Will the goalkeeper come up for this? You would expect him to, given the fact that they need something from this. He doesn't, you know. That's an interesting one. Keeper comes into the centre. Bruno gets rid of it. He's won 10 headers in his career, according to that. And Prague have scored. And Dortmund has been left with egg on their face. Well, I mean, Bruno did all he could do there. I'm not lying. I, I He won the header near post. He tried to get the challenge in on the edge of the area and everyone else just stood by and watched. I mean, that's the header clear. He then rushes out to the defender. He overshot it. It's been blocked and then it just falls into the path of, is it Musa? And I mean, that's the easiest finish he'll ever have in his career. But that is such a disappointing performance. It is Musa. What a terrible result for Dortmund. That is shocking. Given that there was a midweek Champions League game, and of course Bruno was chosen for it, I had absolutely no doubt in my mind that he wouldn't be chosen for the game against Freiburg. But it remains to be seen whether he can hold down a first-team place. I doubt it, given the fact that he's only 69 rated. But still, uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that, and of course with the loan move. If you know what happens with loan moves, and whether the transfer window is the loan window... Uh, then let me know in the comment section down below because if it is we're gonna have to wait till January to see Bruno make a move but if you have enjoyed that episode of Bruno what did I call it the rise of Bruno then do me a favor and hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and until the next time goodbye football index the game changed download the app now <laughs>